Welcome back to Broken Triad. That's a nice little dog head up, the jackal head up there to welcome us to. So, I'm a thief, not a demon slayer, but it seems I have. That's a little weird. The corona is visible from out here, but not. The angles on that are wrong. It's not visible from places it should be. Weird. Uh, is this an elevator? Yes. I can say I'm a thief, not a demon slayer, but it seems like I'm gonna have to do some demon slaying now. That's a lot. I mean, there's another thing there. I guess that's portal controls? I don't know. What is, I don't even know what this place is. I mean, do I have a map of it? Of course I don't have a map. We're gonna might find Keeper Alice somehow. Hopefully he's not dead already. And we're just gonna defeat this demon that's killing everybody. Easy. Right? Very, uh... I know, I want to see very quakey architecture here. It feels very unlike Thief. Thief... Doesn't... I don't know, to me the Thief style doesn't put... Tons of detail into brushwork like that. The Celestial Gate. Every three, three months, a select few gain the wonderful privilege of journeying to a place where the stars nearly touch the ground. Every three months, when the moon is in the correct position, the Celestial Gate grants the Chosen Ones passage to Cairo, the island of the sky. There they can spend the rest of their lives in the holiest of all cities, close to the gods. Those who get chosen are usually of higher standing, although their contributions to society are factored into the selection ritual as well. However, the Emperor, undoubtedly the most deserving of all, can never be chosen, as he must remain in Karathin to justly reign over his people. Oh, so these are supposed to be the precursors again. <laughs> this is like the, uh, it's the model of the precursor place in the uh, museum. This is not quite, but it's almost just a larger version of that. Yeah, all right. Well, it sucks to be the Emperor then if you never get to go. This is a creepy texture, all these stone faces all around. Um, that's a skeleton with a sword, a weird sword stuck in its face. Okay. And a lot of lava. Hmm. I was gonna say there's got more side rooms, but uh, I guess we're gonna need to explore side rooms because I can't reach the skeleton, can I? And I could try jumping, but I don't think I would succeed. Guy, or is that something else? Oh, that's just big fancy brazier, isn't it? Just kind of looks like someone with arms and fire coming out of their mouth, arms raised. Sound like it. It's a 
Definitely a free man. Or two. It's hard to say. Where are they? I can hear them. Are they upstairs, maybe? Just a pool. Oh, hello. Well, even if we don't manage to defeat uh, the demons, this won't be a total loss. We've got a cheap, cheap gold goblet. And uh, three fire arrows. Well, one fire arrow there, I suppose. The rest has stuff to carry with me. Oh, hey. You haven't died happy, because look at look at how he's grinning. I guess this was sauna. And he's sitting here on the bench there's this fire pit. Oh shit, how's where did you come from? You weren't there a minute ago. He didn't see me, so that's, that's fortunate. Okay, you're going up there, up the ramp, I suppose. So you were upstairs. And there were more than one of you. Where is this? I know this place is big. I'm kind of involved. Okay, you're standing watching a door. And then what, are you coming back here? Yes. Mm. I think I'll be safer waiting here, where you're not likely to walk into me. It's not as dark as I would like. in that corner. That was a side room there. Okay, that was could hide in. Oh, we have uh, hieroglyphs again. Okay, well. Palace. That's a lot of words to say palace. Well, you know, a lot of pictures, each worth a thousand words, and they all add up to a single conclusion. Is this... This is the way out to... Where Skull 
skill sword man is, right? But I don't see how I open this gate. I'm gonna make a run for it. Hopefully Cookie Man is not back yet. There's definitely more to explore. Oh, it's noisy too. Don't know where that is. Where do we go here? The elements are turning against us. Not a day passes without the ground trembling violent. The eastern shrine got completely submerged by the inexplicably rising seawater. An aggressive fire and elementals have started appearing in the alleys of our city. I think this must be what happened to Kara Finn. Centuries ago, Vartoran arrived through the Celestial Gate and died at its steps. What he managed to tell the priests before he passed away was very similar to what we are experiencing now. Ah, oh, these precursors have no luck at all, do they? table. There's a depression to catch fluids and a channel for them to run out. Well, maybe that's just, you know, for chopping, like, very juicy fruits on, you know, vegetables and... Hmm, maybe it's for... Maybe it's for people. Where is this? There's another sign on the gate over there, so at least that will tell me something about where it is. But if I drop down here, I'm not getting back, right? Oh, unless I can conveniently do that. Problem solved. Shoddy workmanship. Above it, too. <gasps> Do I see a door open? Not sure. I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to be up here. Fire elemental, or maybe I'm just hearing this fire. I don't know. There is a fire elemental. Yeah, there's definitely a door. Somewhere off that way. Hmm. See, I don't even know where I'm trying to get to. Definitely not where it's supposed to be, right? This is out of the level. <sighs> not even any room brushing up here. Okay, let's try and play by the rules. Whoops. Fine. Where did I get up here from? Oh, I have a chance of dropping down a little more quietly. Right, so we know we've got fire elements to deal with. 
What's this sign? City Archive. That's the fires. What's this one? Temple Forecourt. Alright, let's go to the Archive first. I feel like... Oh, hello. That's, uh... That's where the door I was hearing was. It's just like a skeleton. I mean, skull man. I don't know. Let's try not guessing mine. Hmm. Kind of like a fire elemental with a skull and a sword. Is that valuable? Looks like it might, looks like it might be valuable. Oh shit, there might not be anywhere to hide in here. Oh yes, there is, okay. He comes back pretty quickly. Oh, he gives off light too, that's not great. Well, thankfully it remains dark enough. Okay, well, I mean, we could certainly use those if we need to. All these fiery people should be susceptible to it, right? It's a well with a rope. Oh, why not? Where does it go? system hello there large oh, system with a head floating in it yeah I'm not sure I want to drink this water now it's got random body parts I am so lost in this place. Oh, hello. What's that? <laughs> Sentient? Sacred fire elemental, I mean... What oh, lights up? I mean, what happens if I put it out? It seems... Near. Is it wrong if I am looking forward to attending the funeral ceremony of Priest Maiden? I can already imagine the richly decorated people passing me by as the procession slowly moves southwards, following the last path. It's the first time I am allowed to see a funeral of a priest, and Hila Naza even agreed that I'll be assisting the Sensor Corps. I'm a bit ashamed, though. I was too nervous to ask him how such a call works. All I know is that it can summon the spirit of a deceased person. Can you explain the procedure to me, please? Return. Hmm. Because that lights up, I've got to do something with it, and I think putting it out is probably not what I should be doing with it. Alright, so we know how to get to the sacred fire elemental. We go down the well. Hmm. 
Alright, that's just where I came from, right? Wait, did I come from... I came from there. I haven't been down in there yet. I haven't been up here yet. So there might not be much point to coming to... Oh, hello. That looks awfully like a keeper glyph. I feel like maybe that's where Aleph might be hiding out. I hate edges like this. Too hard to get up on. Without risk of overshooting. Too low to mantle onto. Oh, hello, Fire Elemental. Don't, don't look this way. Too low to mantle onto, and you can run up onto it, but it's so narrow that you have to be really precise, otherwise, you'll just go straight over. And that's kind of sucky. I mean, it looks nice, but it doesn't play nice. Keyhole, sure. Wow, this is not the same place, is it? Garrett, what you see around you is the effect of a sanctuary glyph. Normally, the glyph creates a stationary protective bubble wherein a keeper is safe from any of the outside world's hazards. However, when I invoked the glyph, it created this sphere of reality, a remarkably ac accurate replica of the keeper compound where I had studied for most of my life. I believe the compound must be a recreation from my memory because only those rooms are accessible where I've been before in reality. And only the books that I've actually read have writing in them. I don't have an explanation why this happened. I can only assume that the paranormal storm surrounding the Tempest Isle altered the Sanctuary Glyph's effect. In any case, this strange incident certainly works in our favour. I've invoked several Sanctuary Glyphs at different locations on Tempest Island, and they all lead to this compound. This should enable you to travel quickly from one Glyph location to, to the other by using the Sanctuary as a hub. You'll notice that I've also created several impassable barriers which look like giant keyholes. These are security measures that should prevent Nyasa or Leonard from just waltzing through the sanctuary in case he discovers one of the glyphs. The barriers will disappear with each new glyph you'll find on Tempest Isle. Once you've found and used all the glyphs, you'll be able to access the entire compound. Since the sanctuary is only a spell, you can't take anything out that's part of it. However, items from outside can be dropped and retrieved here without a problem. I did so with the star gem lying next to this book. Throughout Kyrule, you'll find small alcoves where you can insert one of these gemstones. The gems are a source of energy the former inhabitants of this island used to power various machinery. Keep it Aleph. Better check my map. New objectives. Find and use all the sanctuary glyphs on the island, yeah. Map? Oh. Here's a rough map of the city. I marked the spots where you can find a sanctuary glyph. The other glyphs are in the City of the Dead. Okay, so the market is here. This is the one we got to. Um, I hit one star gem in the palace gardens east tower. Celestial gate must be where we started, right? And we came through the hearing court, and I guess I came this way. Yeah, I went to the city archive. Okay. If you can't enter the temple from the hypostyle, try the south entrance in the forecourt. Okay, that's the temple forecourt. Right, no, I, I must come through the hypostyle. Because I remember coming down here. This is where I was climbing up and getting out of the map. So this is the city archive, that's the temple forecourt sign, yeah. This was the gate, the columns was collapsed, climbed up the column there, yeah, that's the gate opened. Okay, so I came this way, not through the garden and baths. Okay. I mean, I may have looked at the garden baths, I don't know. Alright, so map is useful. It's unfortunately not an auto map, because that would just, would just help. It's just always nice to just have it shade where you are. But I think I can work with this. So I have no idea what I'm doing or why, so that doesn't help. Find star gems. Power and strange machinery. Garrett, first of all I want to thank you for following me. You are currently on Tempest Island, so called by seafarers because of the unnatural storm surrounding it. Before it became this cursed haven for restless souls, the island was called Kyrule. It used to be populated by the Kyrulians, 
a peaceful group of precursors who had come here by means of the moon portal, which brought us here as well. On the bright side, Nyarsal hasn't arrived on Tempest Isle yet, otherwise you likely wouldn't be reading this. The moon portal has some curious effects on time, where you it seems to take mere seconds to travel from the museum to the island. In reality, the voyage can take from a couple of minutes to several hours, or even days. It all depends on the moon's position the moment you enter the portal. Nyarsal, you and I entered at different times, thus we also arrived, or will arrive here, at different points in time. Since the portal works outside of our normal time, it can happen that somebody who stepped into the portal earlier will reach their destination much later. At the time I am writing this, I've been here for more than two days, and neither you nor Nyarsal have arrived yet. I only hope you get here before Nyarsal does. What you saw in Ark, which was only the tip of the iceberg. I doubt I'd stand a chance against Nyarsal on my own, even though he is not in his complete form yet. Your immediate goal should be to follow me into the Necropolis, the island's city of the dead. The island is very unstable due to all the volcanic activity, and some of the corridors I took to enter the Necropolis already collapsed. You'll have to find another route, most likely through the temple. Since I don't know if and when we'll meet in person, I've placed several books and notes throughout the sanctuary for you to read. They should give you a better understanding of my perspective on this situation. I won't leave any notes on the island itself, since they might be found by Nyasal if he arrives before you do. Keep her alive. All right, we enter the necropolis. Okay, so now I have a direction. Good. All right. So we are here above the market. The archive has the skull man in it. It also had the locked door, which might be of interest. Should maybe go back and investigate. Also, the city archive has the well fire elements or marketplace. Uh, sorry, the well. This is a well. It's sacred elemental. Is in the marketplace. So what's this location? This is okay. This also goes to the Dawn Plaza. This fire elemental we saw coming up and down here, and we saw them actually patrolling through this doorway. So I'm not going to go that way just yet. Well, almost that there. Oh, that's accessible. Reds for there. It's not no mystery. friend is in his patrol right now. Also I'm not sure where I need him to be. It seems very strange that creatures like that are still here coexisting with the uh I thought he just turned around. Still here coexisting with Crayman. Oh, I can't grab that. Okay. Okay, so there's a door that needs unlocking. I don't know if Stargem is going to unlock it. I guess I can try it. I don't know what the first vision is like, so... Mm. Well, I can lockpick it. Okay, I had a few moments more than I thought, but... Still have to be quick and careful.
Right. Chronological list of Kyrule's emperors. Kitan Haref, Veratro, Vastaron, Tarakbeard, and Penfell, Straylock, and Vasperek. Uh, Straylock. 402 to 471 CR. In his time, in, it was during the reign of Straylock that the uh, ancient. The ancient star gem uh, refinery called Chernobyl exploded. Speech given by Priest Garon to the Council of Carthen. Garon, I still disapprove of the Third Gate's erection, although the Emperor made his stance on the matter clear. Allowing people from Kyrul to come back to Carthen is a sacrilege. Voice from the Council. But it is meant for emergency situations only, and any misuse will be punished severely. Garon, what kind of emergency would that be, I ask myself. Has the trust in our gods sunken so low that we see the need to install exits from the very place we consider holiest and closest to the eternity of the stars? Hmm. Thought I saw something on the far side, okay. Well, this is not enlightening, although... Perhaps that information will be relevant. Don't know how. Safe enough here, I think. Fireman Sam. Yeah. Although he has a light, it's not going to light us up here. Right, and those doors don't open. Alright, I'm just going to leave that open. Oop. Another fireman Sam. I mean, there's a fireball Sam, I suppose. Okay, so he goes in... Oh, no, he comes up here. That's right. All right. Um, I guess we should be trying to get to the temple forecourt, which is through here. Oh, I see. That's not really... Bible either. Okay, we're gonna have to try to go around. That's Tajim. Can I take it out? Um I guess we could come through down through here. Fire from fireman friends and try to go through the offering ground. Oh, we saw something. Okay, I hope it calms down in a second. Didn't break its patrols, so. Oh, rip arrows, how nice. Okay, I'll just sit right here. Where am I trying to go? Alright, that just leads to the market. So I guess we're trying to go to the offering ground. I don't know if I've. Fiery friend comes this way. Hmm, can't climb up there because thanks to that overhang. And, um, do not believe the priest's official reports of what happened yesterday. I saw it with my own eyes. 
During Emperor Vasbarek's public audience in the hearing court, a cloaked man stepped out of the crowd. He produced a sword from under his robe and hurled it across the crevice like a spear. The blade penetrated the Emperor's skull and buried itself into the throne's back before anyone even realised what was going on. The people attending the audience broke into a panic. The assassin then dropped his cloak and revealed himself to be a sentinel of the Dark Watch. Oh, so that skeleton we saw is the Emperor. Okay, more flames. Wait, this is the offering ground and has a path. Oh no, this is where we are. The offering ground is, is across this bridge, okay. It does seem that our fiery friend does not come here, but how do I get up to the top? I don't see any stairs. That's too high. Can I climb the tree? And you've got rope arrows here, but there's no uh, there's no wood he says. Not very obviously wood. It's about the same colour as the uh, as the bricks, but it does have a texture as of wood. An odd occurrence. Something strange happened while I was cleaning the upper floor in the palace baths. Without any announcement, Emperor Vasperak came rushing in and jumped right into the pool to take a shower under the waterfall. He lifted his face upwards, but remained unaware of my presence as the tumbling water was covering his eyes. Then, after just a few seconds, he climbed out of the pool and headed off muttering something about his friends, showing him the way through the secret passage. I knew the priests put a special essence into the water, but I wasn't aware that it's making our emperor hallucinate. Okay. Interesting. I have a notion what that might be about, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Any news of secret passages is, of course, valuable. Hello, I recognize this. I've seen this. We can't take it back. Okay, we're gonna need another one. Where did he leave one? In the Palace Gardens East Tower. I guess we're going back to the Palace Gardens. I should have left my rope. Clearly I'm gonna need it again. got five of them, I can suddenly leave one behind. Make sure I wasn't going to hit the tree. Now where is our fiery fr fellow? He's on his way. I suppose I could extinguish him, but you know, he's not done anything to me. Seems rude to just go about putting fires out for no reason. Not quite as rude as going about lighting fires for no reason. That's that's us. I'm not sure what a uh, 
vigilante extinguisher is called, but um, it's also not considered polite. Hello. Oh, that's right. That's right, that's another way to... I don't know. Something that I can't open. I think. Uh, that's the way to the palace. I guess. Ah, oh, the hearing court is where the skull is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I did come through the palace paths. That's how I got. That's this passageway. That's these doors. This is the palace paths. And there is another... Green man about. Oh, more than one. Uh, now the secret passage here as well. Just jump in the water and look up at the waterfall. bars we need to get to, back to the garden. I've forgotten how we got there, but it's definitely not this way. Ah, there were two of them up here, okay. As long as they don't notice me here, that's okay. Doesn't feel quite as bright as I would prefer, but... Quite as dark, rather. or something. I could escape over there if I need to, I suppose. Alright, I think he gave up. Yeah, this guy's just uh, patrolling. He hasn't seen me. Good, good. Oh, it's closed. I guess I'm going to climb out the window then. Well, this is the garden, and the garden's the east tower, I guess, is where we need to be. The north tower has collapsed. Or the pathway to it. We don't want him to see us. Uh, hello. More important than the star gem. Loot! Alright, and the star gem. Okay, we can continue now. Where's the North Passage take? The North Passage goes back to the Hearing Court. I wonder if I can get across. Yeah, it doesn't really look like... Well, maybe you can go around the edge. Yeah, that should be possible, right? Ouch. Dang it. I have got to go upstairs again.
Yeah, I'm not seeing what the Emperor saw. What? Take some valuables there. Oh, wow, I'm more badly hurt by that fall than I thought. Mate takes you out of the waterfall, looked upwards, climbing out of the pool, headed off, muttering some of his friends, dragging him way through the secret passage. I... I don't understand. One is coming down the stairs any second now. And we go up the stairs behind, try and get back up to that upper area. You need to be careful with this friend. Oh, his friend's in an ideal place for us right now. Perfect, okay. Who <laughs> needs a walkway, huh? Back to the hearing court. So that's the Emperor, assassinated while on the throne, huh? Wait, have I been up here before? No, but where does this take me? Oh, the fire arrow, more loot, very important. And uh, clearly a star gem, but one that's already in place. So again, I'm not getting over there, the Emperor's place yet, there's something important going to happen there, but uh, I don't know what. My friend is headed away. Although we don't necessarily want to be up there, do we? <sighs> I guess, uh, I mean, yeah, we can get down here safely. So, uh, that's just a hearing court. Where we came from, right? Is that the way on the left is is from the palace path, but we can't open it from this side, so Alright. Don't know what I'm supposed to see with the secret passage wise. Staircase friend coming down. Actually, where am I going right now? Uh, I got the star gem. We want to be heading back down this way. Actually, this one's alright. This one I traverse less.
Now we have Fireman Sam to come through. No wait, we want Temple Folk Club. No, we need to... We do want Temple Folk Club, we've got to go through just Fireman Sam's. Not Fireman Sam. Ugh. Fireball. Fireball Bob. Fireball Bill. There's a walkway up there too. All sealed off. Here we go. Hey Bill. Tell which way they're looking. Okay. <gasps> now we have a second star gem. Somewhere here we should be able to. Get through here. What is that? Spirit fire arrow. That's what is that? And what is it for? I don't know, but this now brings us to the temple forecourt. If we cross the forecourt, we can find another glyph. Yeah, that way thoroughly collapsed, and I'm definitely not getting in there. Right. I guess I'll just drop. And uh, leave another arrow behind. Well, this is a temple then. Anybody home? I don't know. I do feel like uh, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you here for the next one.